Is this good? Is this a good angle? Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. What? What? Mm. Yes. Stop. Well, yeah, I, I guess I, I do look more rested. Uh, Damn, son. What? I don't know. I've been drinking more water. Uh, yeah. Getting, you know, getting more sunlight, doing more Pilates. Okay, I'm, I'm wearing foundation. Here's the thing. I mean, guess what? Uh, there are dramatic bags under my eyes. I've known that, like, my entire life. The Steve Buscemi thing, I've been making that joke since high school, alright? I can try to cover up this feature. I put on what I thought was copious amounts of foundation. It's still rather visible. I don't know if it even worked. I think makeup is bogus. At the end of the day, all I'm doing is kind of shaving away a feature that is prominent. A type of feature that people comment on constantly. It's a distinguishing feature that people notice about my face and remember. So for today's Return to the Advanced Aesthetics series, I want to talk about leaning in to the qualities that make you, you. Because often, especially with social media, with the internet at large, with fashion and aesthetics, we are often trying to emulate other people. We're all distinct, different human beings. There are qualities and features that I can lean into that will distinguish myself. So let's break it down. Can you tell the difference? Maybe this is the best I've ever looked. To quote Oscar Wilde, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. And it took a lot of strength for writer Oscar Wilde to say that because just look at this guy. He's not that hot. Kinda weird in the face. But that didn't stop him from knocking boots with the godfather of American poetry, Walt Whitman. Also, Walt Whitman was the original hipster. I'll talk about that in another video. If you expend more time and energy trying to whittle away the qualities that make you you, you're gonna end up being a bland nobody without any really strong aesthetic qualities. Under eye bags are a feature of aging and being tired. I'm not that old and I sleep a normal amount, but I still have these prominent bags. I might roll it back a little, but I should never really try to hide this. If a person is to see you and meet you, will they remember who you are? Will they remember what you look like? And it's not even a knock on you or the person you're meeting. The fact of the matter is, if you've got a quality that is distinguished, if your specs are in a certain place, you need to emphasize that. You need to lean into it somehow. Even if you're a hunchback, do it, man. You gotta get that, that Igor look. You know, how do we apply this idea? How can I lean into an aesthetic that is maybe considered ugly? Well, the first thing, the first step begins with my hair and a change that I have made and will reveal right now. Dun, 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 dun. Um, so take a look, I bleached my hair again. Here is why. When I was thinking about this video, I was thinking about kind of moments where I felt like I was really capturing my aesthetic or my coolness with my certain features. And it made me think of this picture that my friend Chris took of me uh, a while back. Hey, hey grandma, um, as an aside, the cigarette is a prop. It was for the photograph. Chris wanted it for the photograph. I love you. I think that this is one of my coolest pictures. I just look cool in it, and there's a couple of reasons why. For one, I'm wearing this shirt. For another, it's well composed and well shot. But the, it's my hair, and it's what I'm wearing, and it's the nature of it that all ha kind of works to my advantage. The bleached hair, and in this picture it's black and white, but it was really almost like a yellow. It, it was like a poor bleach job. And there was something about having that color, that untoned color, that looks really, for lack of a better word, punk when I had it. 
It was the right length and it was the right color. Even though it's black and white and the lighting is different, you can still see the distinct under, under eye bags in this picture. So why am I using this as an example? Because I think for who I physically am, my aesthetic is a type of laissez-faire, devil-may-care kind of quality. I'm always going to look a little tired. I'm always going to look a little worn. And instead of trying to come off as like a suave supermodel or like a stunningly handsome dude, I can better channel the New York tiredness. I can look kind of like, like a rebel. Like a dude who always looks tired because he's got so many so many crazy ideas on his mind. Instead of trying to look like a perfectly like uh, airbrushed face, I should look like the, the gritty heroin chic rock guy that I was born to be. It's like I've seen these streets and there's a lot of garbage on them. Someday a real rain will come and wash all this scum off the streets. You think that's a lot of garbage? You should see these streets. Camus, Lou Reed, Anthony Bourdain. That's the vibe, that's the energy. You know, there's a more cool and articulated way of expressing it, but that's the idea. Yo, what's up? We're here in my bedroom, I got my Squishmallows. Listen, I was editing the video. It's like an additional 40 minutes of me trying to show you guys how to go through the same process, but I don't know, it felt flat. It didn't feel real to me. In essence, this is what I'm saying about the lecture. It's more of a theory class today rather than an application. I, I think it's kind of tricky to give you guys generic advice about how you apply your unique features, whether it's your, in your face, your body, your being, how you reappropriate the once perceived ugliness to your advantage. I think instead, it's better to at least look at this and consider the way that I'm doing it. And you know, I keep calling myself a cool guy, but if you saw my recent videos, you know that the opposite is true. This is what I'm thinking though, right now. I still want to give you guys an assignment. It's the Advanced Aesthetic Series, That's this is Zoom Classrooms, you're in college. Fashion 101. I'm still getting some people messaging me saying they love to do a cringe and glow up video part two. And I think that this idea kind of plays well into that one. Um, I would love it if you guys sent me kind of your cringe and glow ups, but even better if they kind of lean more towards this is how I tried to hide something about myself. This is how I tried to kind of style something or make myself look a certain way because I thought that was the more attractive thing. And this is how I kind of developed to appreciate what makes me unique more. And I get it. If you guys kind of, you watch this video and you're like, well, I've never done that. Maybe this is an opportunity to take a fit pick Hey buddy, take a new fit pic. So send me your new cringe and glow up. I'll probably share this on the social meds all over, but DM it to me, email me, I guess. And if I get enough, like I did last time, you guys were so enthusiastic last time, I will make a part two of cringe glow ups videos but with the more or less emphasis on this idea. <laughs> Lastly, this is how I want to leave you guys. Your goal aesthetic. Here is a thought experiment. Let's imagine it's the end of your life and somehow you became a celeb. You're at a, your funeral is like wild and crazy and all your celeb friends are there. How are they going to remember your look. Consider that Bill Gates or Tyler the Creator or Ray Kawakubo have immense power and money and have seen all walks of life. They've seen super hot people and super uggos. Then they're remembering you. What 
about who you are right now, aesthetically, could you lean into and develop where even the most creative, powerful, interesting people would recognize that that is a distinguishing feature that only you had. We don't choose our body, we don't choose what we look like, but we choose what we do with it, how we lean into it. If I lean into the bags under my eyes, I can be compared consistently or constantly to Steve Buscemi, but I also can stick in the minds of my viewers. In the meantime, I gotta look more tired. <laughs> Hey, this is like the new, <laughs> this is the new end of video. I'm trying to make things more like routine and systematic.